I'm living in an area that has weather, and I'm often curious what the temperature is outside. So having come from a manufacturing background, I put an industrial sensor outside to measure the temperature. I wrote a little program in C to interrogate that sensor every couple of minutes and put its readings into a round robin database, which I can then use to generate graphs like this and plot out what the temperature has been doing. Pretty neat. Yeah, sure, it would have been less expensive and easier just to buy an outdoor thermometer, sure. My temperature sensor is quite accurate, but my graphs are not. And that's because during the daylight, sunlight hits the sensor, it hits the bracket it's attached to, heats the thing up, and it reads higher than the true ambient air temperature. And this is a problem with almost any outdoor temperature sensor that doesn't have a sun shield on it. And so I was thinking, I need to build a sun shield. And the traditional way of building a sun shield is you get a series of plates or bowls, and you stack these plates one on top of another, usually upside down so the rain can drain off. And so you have a stack of maybe half a dozen plates or so, separated by about half an inch, an inch. You carve out the inside of the bottom of this so you can slide your sensor up into the middle of this stack of plates. And the stack of plates allows airflow to pass right through them. And the plates are white and plastic usually, so they don't absorb a whole lot of sunlight. And the heat that they do absorb gets dissipated rapidly by their large surface area. You could also use bowls. And so I was thinking about assembling something like this and kind of putting together a little shopping list as to what I'm going to need. And I'm living outside of a small town. And so going into town for supplies is an afternoon's worth of adventure. So my thought was, well, I'm going to have to go into town, see if I can find a half a dozen or so white plastic plates or bowls that are appropriate. And then I'll need some threaded rod material so I can drill holes through those plates and stack them up one on top of each other. And on the threaded rod, I'll put some washers and nuts to space out those plates. I'll need a hook to hang it from. I'll need some kind of bracket on the inside to hold the temperature sensor. And, and I'm putting together this little list of parts and also questioning, what's the chance I'm going to be able to find the plates or bowls that I want inexpensively? Maybe, maybe not, probably. And I was also thinking that last time I was at the hardware store buying things like threaded rod and all of this uh, fastener stuff, get a little expensive. Yeah, I probably got $20 worth of parts to build this contraption. And not to mention my time of getting up into the, the city and the fuel and then when i come back it's going to take me probably an hour with the drill press to measure it all out and build this thing and so i did a little bit of shopping and i found this this is made by lacrosse and it's an accurate temperature sensor sun shield it's purpose made now it's about 20 bucks but it occurs to me that can't build this for $20 and this is nicer than I could build. Now you might say it's a molded piece of plastic and 20 bucks for a piece of plastic is a lot of money but it's nice and like I said I don't think I could fabricate something as nice as this as inexpensively as this. It's a no-brainer. So I ordered one of these and I'm anxious to put it up and start using it because I think it's going to work just perfectly. As you can see it's basically what I described. It's a series of plates here that are separated by an air gap. It's got this nice bracket on the side so you can just bolt it onto the side of a post or a building. Probably be better to hang this out in free space if you want accurate readings. It's also got provisions in here so that you can run a tie strap through it and just tie it onto your fence or whatnot. And so you can just put that onto your uh, fixture you want to attach it to and then you can just slide the uh, unit right into it and it just stays right there. How nice is that? Now to get the temperature sensor in it that goes into the bottom and the bottom just twists off like so 
and you got a big open space here that could accommodate a pretty large sensor. This is made for their own sensor, of course, but it's pretty universal. It's large enough it could accommodate just about anything, I think. And on the bottom, you just run your wire up into there and attach your sensor onto this tab right there, like so. And um, how easy is that? So I thought that this is just perfect product. And so if you have an outdoor temperature sensor and you're concerned that it might be reading high in the sunlight, well, a product like this might be exactly what you need to get more accurate readings out of your outdoor temperature sensor. I'll put a link down below in case you're curious about this unit. And uh, I say I'm anxious to put this up and get my graphs to read more accurately this summer. So I hope you enjoy the tip, hope you enjoy the videos, and I hope you come back and watch more. Thanks for coming by and uh, watching this one. I'll catch you again soon.